Hey everyone, it's good to see you. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today I wanted to talk a little bit more about my first month microdosing magic mushrooms. So if you're interested, stay tuned. I wanted to first start with giving you a little bit of history. I have suffered from major depressed depression for, gosh, probably since my teenage years and now I'm 46. So it gives you a time frame of how long I have suffered with major depression. I was diagnosed in my early 20s though, um, and I have had um, a traumatic childhood um, and um, some trauma, again, to deal with uh, along with the depression, um, some child abuse type situations, and I go into that on other videos on my channel. So if you're interested in a little bit more of that, um, I will link those videos in the description box for you to check out. It'll give you a more detailed background. But for this video, let's keep it short, as short as possible. Um, so I have sought treatment um, through meds and counseling for many, many years. So my experience with antidepressants is a lot. And um, I was seeing a return of these symptoms, especially when, when um, I started menopause. So the depression ramped up again and it was just really difficult. So I decided to um, see a psychiatrist and he and I uh, discussed getting on Cymbalta and I that was what I basically was on for the past year. And I would say it helped a little bit, um, but it didn't really touch chronic pain or anything. Um, I know it's used a lot for those with fibromyalgia, which I do have, but I didn't really feel, feel like it helped with that. And I just also didn't really feel like it was really making um, progress with my depression. Um, and I had already increased my dose once. So um, I decided to talk to my psychiatrist again and, you know, I started thinking about microdosing because it's becoming more legal now. Um, it is legal in the state that I am in. I'm in Colorado and, um, it just kind of, um, was brought back into my awareness just with all of everything that's been being said about it. And especially with the advertisements, they even have like advertisements now that I've seen just on regular TV, you know, where um, uh, these treatments are being used for severe depression. So I was really curious to see what my doctor would think about it, my psychiatrist. So I went ahead and talked to, to him and he is a big fan. He absolutely supported me 100% in um, deciding to microdose. And he, even his own words, he said that um, he thinks it works better than any pharmaceutical could work. And uh, it's actually been around for longer than we even know. And um, the studies have been really, really positive. So I was quite shocked and surprised. Um, otherwise, he, uh, when we talked about um, my experience, my long-term experience using so many different types of antidepressants and just years and years I have had with, um, you know, guinea pig <laughs> type, like, you know, side effects and just always just, how is this one working? What are the side effects? What works? What doesn't? I use Prozac. Um, the longest and it started pooping out after about six years I was noticing I wasn't responding and so I'm just I was started noticing a pattern like I'm just not responding to antidepressants like I did and in, initially in the beginning and everything and um with this knowledge and everything I think my doctor was just definitely like it seems like you're, um, actually he put in our notes when I read them afterwards that I was treatment resistant depression and that um, the next option for me in terms of pharmaceuticals would have been 
Um, I forget the medication now and I meant to look at it before I did this video, but oh well. Um, I'll try to link it here down below what the name is um, so that you guys can see what we were talking about doing. But that scared me. That medicine, the, the, the sound of it, it, it really did not look like something I wanted to do for myself. Like it's, it kind of scared me. Like just kind of, I just got a feeling like I would take it and just check out a life. You know what I mean? And I really didn't want that. Um, okay. So that is my history with that. And then also getting the approval for my doctor is, was huge. Um, I did go on a retreat, like a, like a spiritual development retreat with a colleague of mine. And, um, in this retreat, I would say, oh gosh, how many years ago was it now? It, it's been several years. I want to say maybe, maybe five years, four or five years. Um, at this retreat, um, there were several things that I did, um, uh, and participated in. And one of them was magic mushrooms. So I did have the experience, though at the time it was something called a macrodose. And I will stick a little clip in here of showing you it was in chocolate. Um, and this is how I first um, consumed it. Um, but I even asked for half the dose that they were giving everyone else just because I was worried and just being sensitive that like I am. So um, I did that and then I felt like I wasn't getting deep enough. It was like my brain was trying to get somewhere, but it it wasn't the deep experience that it, it um, that I was needing. There was something missing. And so I went to um, one of the, the leaders who has been trained in, in holding these retreats and everything and asked for something a bit stronger. <laughs> Maybe I should have did the the stronger dose of the <laughs> the chocolate, but basically like LSD in a um like a mug of it was like mixed in with I don't know if it was like a tea or I can't remember exactly how if it was hot or cold I can't remember now but um so I drank that and I definitely felt like that got me to whatever next level that I felt like my brain was wanting to go to but. What disturbed me was the side effects of these medication or these um, substances um, were really hard on my body. So I was very much feeling like I was going to throw up or sit on the toilet for elimination um, in the South Pole, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I felt like I was really going to expel both ways. And then like I couldn't turn off the effects from um, the LSD at the time. Like, so it was like, I wanted to kind of like get out of it. And instead I would go back into the trip basically. And, um, however, I will say that the, the trip was very spiritual for me in terms of very kaleidoscopic, very, um, I felt like I could go somewhere else, like otherworldly, just blissful. And then like, I would get the hell of like coming back into my body, right? And um, and then it would just repeat itself, the cycle. And I was part of a group. And what I think I would have preferred now knowing after this experience um, at this retreat was I wish I would have had a one-on-one, -on -one, um, some, someone with me there 100% of the time, helping me, talking me through so that I could talk through my experience, especially given the trauma and the background that I had. They did have people that, that came and checked on me and everything, and they would do like their their cycles or their circuits and whatnot. But I did not feel comfortable being around um, people that I had just met um, and just kind of losing it. And so I kind of holed up into my own little room to have that privacy to do whatever it was that I was experiencing or going through. And again, I spent half of it in the bathroom. So it really wasn't fun, um, that part of it. Um, and then finally, when I came out of the trip experience, I was able to go to sleep, which I was desperately just wanting to do anyway, and have a lot of those like being sick experiences, you know, physically just kind of calm themselves and get my appetite back. 
So after that, I think the next day we did Iwanaska. And um, that again made me feel nauseous, not as nauseous as the, the substances the pr previous day. But um, that one was just really like expansive, I would say. And, um, you know, it was nice going outside and feeling just that, I, I would just call it peaceful and blissful. Um, but I'd ne I did not feel like it was a trip type of experience, you know, where you see your hand kind of doing this in front of your eyes and all those other things that I was experiencing on the other substances. Iwanaska was very just um, peaceful and um, expansive and just heart opening. So anyway, that's my experience with that <laughs> with, with that retreat. When I came home from that retreat, I noticed that I did not have depression for three months after taking those substances. And I didn't realize that that would have been the side effect. So I was then thinking, oh gosh, you know, everything that I tried and went through, it was just not fun, wasn't great. But the after effects were just so amazing that I was like, wow, oh my gosh, like this is how I truly want to live. I want to live like this where I just feel my best self, you know, and I am relieved from depression and I'm happy, you know, I can actually wake up in the morning and not dread my life and I can get myself out of bed and I can, um, you know, all the things that depression just takes away from you. So with that knowledge, um, I wasn't really aware of microdosing. It's like I would hear people talk about it, and but I was still very much like, oh, the side effects, I just know, I don't know if I could do that, you know, as a long-term situation. So I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for microdosing at that point, I don't think. And um, I don't think I really understood it. And so it wasn't till now where, you know, I've heard much more about it. You know, it's legal here. Um, I'm starting to see advertisements. I'm starting to hear, you know, people in my just um, like Facebook group or friends group talk about um, that, you know, they, that they microdose for their depression as well. And then the final thing was, how would my doctor feel about it? Because obviously, given my history, I really valued his opinion. I, I like him as a doctor. Um, and I was, I felt very comfortable with him talking about it. So that was good too. Um, so I think he was just the right doctor to ask for me in my situation. Like, how do you feel about this? What do you think about this? And uh, he's like, unfortunately, I cannot distribute, <laughs> you know, um, you know, the capsules and everything. This is this is what they look like. Um, you know, so he's just like, I'm a psychiatrist, but I can't tell you where to get them. So I'll show you real quickly. And I'll also show you like, um, whoops, so a close up of what these look like as well. Um, yeah. So <laughs> with that being said, I just, you know, I had the feeling, why don't I ask around, um, do some online research, see what comes up. So a, um, a friend of mine suggested um, someone locally, and um, I made sure to have her permission to share her information in this video so that I can um, pay it forward to her. Her name is Ty, and um, she's with, um, she has her little logo right here, but it's My Twin Flames Mycology. And I will put her information down below in the description box as well. Um, she it looks like she started her business in 2023. And um, it's really great. It, so she not only gives these uh, like a monthly stock of um, capsules, and you can also discuss like how you would like to take it. She also included that little piece of chocolate, which I believe is a macro dose and I haven't tried it yet, which is why I still had it in its packaging just because I'm a little nervous about the side effects. <laughs> and um, I'm still very much a noob to all of this, you guys. So um, I really don't, you know, this is me just sharing my first month of what it's been like microdosing. Um, I don't know a lot of information, but on this capsules thing, 
This um, has 37.5 milligrams of vitamin C, 500 milligrams of lion's mane, 100 milligrams PMB per capsule. And it says take one to three capsules, four days on, three days off, unless otherwise directed. And in this one, in this jar, it said that there was 20 capsules. And then um, if you guys wanted to get a look of what it looks like, it looks like an eaten, um, like somebody ate a chicken wing and this is like the leftovers, but this is actually the mushroom. Seeing this after realizing what my first month has been like, I feel a deep gratitude for this little guy. And um, I'm going to say that my first month, um, we, you know, I started slow. So I only started on 100 milligrams. So um, that was one capsule a day. And I would take it for, what was it again? Yeah, four days on and then three days off. Um, I think this is called the Stratton method. Um, I believe, I, I hope I got that right. And what this allows, it, it allows the brain to kind of like, it's like having, it's like taking, a, like using a crutch for four days or something. I, crutch is probably not the best word either because um, this the, this is so much more than a crutch. <laughs> but, um, and then like trying to like walk without it for three days. So it's like giving your brain um, time to just kind of like um, heal or make those, you know, um, new neuro connections or, you know, it's making it work. It's, it's working its magic, basically. Um, and it also helps to ensure so that you don't have to feel like you have to constantly keep in increasing. Um, so those are just some of the things that I have read about it. For those of you that know a lot more about microdosing, please feel free to share your information in the comments. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm really new to this. I'm just sharing my experience. Um, so, and I, did, I really wanted to go with somebody who was going to one-on-one -on -one individually hold my hand through this process. So Ty absolutely does that. And, um, you know, she gave me this beautiful like starter pack of not just the, the, the medicine, right? It was other things, you know, like an essential oil and, um, you know, like, a st I think she gave me like a stone bracelet to wear. I think it it was made out of um, tiger's eye. This is this is a big one, but the bracelet that she got, she was like really big into stones and like a t-shirt and like this little crocheted mushroom. Darn it! Um, I gave it to my daughter because it's just, it's just so cute that she likes playing with it. So anyway, um, you know, and then she gave me like this journal. So the journal is good for me to be able to write in like which days I'm microdosing and which days I'm off. It helps to keep it all straight so that I don't forget. And then I can write down how I'm feeling and how it's going. So I'd say the first month of how it went was I immediately noticed an increase in my creativity and, um, it was as if I was just finding solutions to things that I had, you know, just issues that were just around the house, just simple things like, you know, just household things or just like um, any kind of like little problems or things like that. I noticed all these creative solutions happening. I started getting back into my work, my, my hobbies and artwork and things like that. Um, I just, a lot of breakthroughs. And I did feel a little bit of a boost um, from the depression as well, but it still felt like it wasn't enough after a month. Um, another thing is, is I felt like it made my ADHD almost like so much like harder to deal with in the fact that I was so motivated to do all these different things and these creative ideas that I was just going off in like every direction. And I even left a pan on the oven <laughs> burning because I mean that's if people know what ADHD is like you you get you know what I mean <laughs> so um yeah you just you get distracted because I think it had been so long since I felt that that upsurge you know of like desire to just do all these things you know because depression it just really takes that from you so that has calmed down a little bit, you know, I'm still creative, I'm still getting, but it's not as, as it first was, like, I, that was definitely what I, I noticed, um, 
And so I asked with Ty's permission, you know, we talked about it and we talked about increasing my dosage. So now I am up to taking two capsules, two of these capsules every day. And so that would be 200 milligrams that I'm taking. And it's, I'm still taking the um, two capsules four days on and three days off. And um, I can't even tell you that first day that I took two, the depression was gone. It was that instant. It was that quick. It was amazing. And um, since then, every day has been depression free. And um, yes, it's only been like four or five days. I get that it's still early, but I was just excited enough to be like, you know what, I have to share. I have to share how life changing this is. And that's how when I met, I said I felt deep gratitude because I just knew, I knew from that prior experience that I had at that retreat and for, and having like three months depression free and then being able to microdose and feel that depression relief, I knew that I had finally found my answer. I don't mean to be emotional, but when you've gone through depression for as long as I have and you've gone on and off antidepressants with horrible side effects for as long as I have being able to find a plant plant medicine um, that works for you is just I am so grateful to find something you know that grows on our very earth is just represents to me that our earth grows our medicine that we need for all kinds of issues and problems that we have and then um Another thing is that, um, you know, if you're worried about the cost, um, because obviously, you know, um, you know, this obviously can be expensive. Um, but what the difference is with Ty, and I think this is so great about her company, is that she is going to be teaching me how to grow them myself which is great um, because then, you know, that's a way that I can support this long term, um, this way of um, healing myself. And so as I get into future videos, and I'll keep you guys updated on um, how I'm doing with this microdosing and what I'm learning, um, I will definitely share how all of that is going and my experiences and possibly trying a couple of macro doses and seeing how I um, hopefully, fingers crossed, stave off the side effects um, of like nausea or wanting to use the bathroom <laughs> and um, hoping, hoping that um, I can just share with you guys how that's going with me and how it's changing my life. Um, I did try ketamine. You guys have seen my uh, I have some previous videos up about ketamine and I was really hopeful to do a whole series on that because I was hoping it would work for me and it did not. So I get, you know, some people um, try certain different things and they work for others. Some don't. So I get that. So I, I definitely have a good feeling about this and I can't wait to share with you guys future videos of how this goes. So yeah, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you've had experiences with microdosing, I'd love to hear um, your experiences in the comments. And um, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, please let me know too, and I can hopefully answer them for you. Okay, have a lovely day. Talk to you later. Bye.